What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Sea World Productions. You guys, we got some new reports for The Rock's Black Adam, which is theaters December 22nd, 2021. Now, I'm intrigued by the idea of The Rock not playing a good guy. All we've seen from The Rock is him being the good guy. He's Everybody knows The Rock, from Jumanji to The Rundown, Walking Tall, you know, his wrestling days. <clears throat> He's always been the good guy. Always. So to see how he interprets him being somewhat sort of the, the anti-hero and the bad guy is going to be very, very interesting to me. Very interesting to me. I mean, when you really think about it, like all of his films, he's always been the good guy. Except for, you know, like The Mummy Returns. He played the Scorpion King. And we all know how terrible that was. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> that whole last scene of the CGI rock as the Scorpion King was so bad. But you know what? I still enjoyed this. I still enjoyed The Mummy. I, the Mummy and The Mummy Returns, the third one was terrible. But with that being said, you guys, I want to know how far The Rock will go as Black Adam. I really do. But with some interesting updates to the film, you guys, some new reports, Isis will appear in the film. She is Black Adam's wife. And Dr. Fate will also appear in the film. Now, it's not 100% confirmed. These are just new reports that are stating right now. Isis and Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate is a kick-ass sorcerer. He's like the Doctor Strange of the DC world. And I cannot wait to see what his costume is going to look like, how his powers are going to look like. It's going to be pretty awesome to see you guys. But I'm curious to see how they're going to dive deep into the really the ancient history of, you know, the, the Shazams, the, the champions, and <clears throat> all the enriched history of, you know, Black Adam and dating back to years and years and years before, you know, Billy Batson. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. It's going to be pretty interesting to me, you guys. But let me give you guys a little brief overview on Dr. Fate. Now, his first appearance was More Fun Comics, issue number five in 1940. His real name is Kent Nelson, powerful sorcerer and an agent for the Lords of Order, founding member of the Justice Society of America. Discovered an ancient underground pyramid with Naboo in it, an ancient immortal from the planet Celia who had been held in suspended animation for thousands of years. Naboo gave Kent Nelson the amulet, the cloak, and helmet to become a champion of a good as Dr. Fate. Interesting backstory on him. I wonder, if, I wonder how far we'll go if we do get him in the film. Like, are we going to get, like, an origin story for all of these characters or just... Black Adam. That's what I'm interested in. Um, but to go further into the detail, Kit Nelson, <clears throat> when he went into the underground pyramid, he was with his father, and when you know when they were accidentally freed him, this poisonous gas was in the air and killed his father. So, a little, little bit more backstory on that character. And Hawkman is also rumored to be appearing in the film as well. I'm like, damn. Dr. Fate? Hawkman? Black Adam? I'm all with it. I am all with it. The action sequences must be crazy. Um, and apparently this Black Adam film is going to be based off the Dark Ages. Now, I haven't read that yet, but when I do read it, I will let you guys know and give you guys a brief overview about that comic book. Um, but a little backstory on Isis as well. Adriana Tomas is Isis, the wife of Black Adam. With the amulet of Isis... She has the power over the forces of nature. An Egyptian woman named Adriana Tomas is a refugee who is enslaved and brought to Black Adam as a gift for the Intergang. Upon freeing her, Black Adam found her to be unafraid and highly vocal about how he could change his country for the better. Interesting. Now, the Amulet of Isis was once, it once belonged to one of the wizards of the Shazam champions and whatnot. Named Queen Pharaoh. See, we're getting like the enriched history when we're talking some of these characters. Because how far will they go? Like, will they already be established? You know what I mean? Or this is going to be like more so of an origin story. But that's pretty interesting to me, you guys. Like I said, Dr. Fate, I would love to see live action iteration of that. Hawkman, so much potential for this film. Very, 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 so much, very, so much potential. So much potential. You know, I, when, I, when, I, when I really think about it, to see The Rock, you know, as an anti-hero and a superhero is, is pretty awesome. And it's going to be the first time us seeing something like that. 
other than, you know, I, I really wouldn't count Hercules to be like a superhero. Um, but I'm curious to see how he's going to portray, you know, Black Adam. Can he do it? Can he be menacing? Can he be evil? We will find out soon enough, you guys. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Dr. Fate, Isis, and Hawkman. Apparently appearing in the Black Adam film in 2021, you guys. Post your comments down below. And thank you for taking time in today for watching Seal Productions. Peace.